Texas has the highest prison population in the United States. Even nonviolent offenders are dealt with harshly by its legal system. But the tide is turning. In a state once known for its fearsome reputation for punishment, it's now focusing on treatment and rehabilitation. And one man has become the poster child of that movement. Ginger Vaughn explains. So what do you figure you owe me at this point? Three days. Three? <laughs> An unconventional courtroom for an unconventional judge. Dallas District Drug Court Judge Robert Francis doesn't wear a robe and has just two rules. Don't run from the court and never lie. Don't run and don't lie. If they lie to me, I will put them in jail, and they know that. So if you relapse, you're a lot better off coming in and telling your officer, telling me, Judge, I've used, and here's what happened. Been to prison before? Yes. How many times? Once. Since 2000, Judge Francis has been dealing strictly with convicted drug offenders, undergoing a rehabilitation program known as a Substance Abuse Felony Punishment Facility, or SAFE-P for short, operated by the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. It's like a classroom within prison, where for six to nine months, inmates learn or relearn the rules to re-enter society. His 4C re-entry court is for those recovering addicts who've left prison. 4C stands for community, correction, and continuum of care. Once out, they must test and remain drug free while working or going to school, or else they must answer to the judge or go back to prison. Participants like 26 year old Joe Chapa say they fear disappointing him just as much as they do being locked up. He just gives it to you straight and forward. And like, he could see through if you're telling lies or whatnot, he'd have heard it all, you know what I mean? So the best thing to do is just be real with him, be honest with him. And it does help you, like it really does help you. Drug rehabilitation programs like Safety are about giving former addicts a chance at a new life, an opportunity to move from behind bars back into society. Their morals and their values are different. And I'm not saying it's an excuse for their behavior that gets them in trouble, but if you don't understand that they're looking at the world different, you're not going to be able to work with them. When I was a young prosecutor, like most everybody else, I thought, well, just punish them and punish them harder and they'll change. Doesn't work. Francis, a 53-year-old Republican who was known around the city as Judge Bobby, is a familiar face at Dallas prisons and courtrooms where he speaks with convicts bluntly about their options. Philosophy's always been the more people you lock up, crime goes down. Well, that hadn't worked. We've reduced the number of people we've locked up and reduced the crime rate at a lower cost, which means we're saving the taxpayers money, we're making the world they live in safer by reducing the number of people we lock up and by intelligently approaching how we're going to deal with these folks. Francis is the only Texas state judge that is committed to rehab programs in court full time. So far, he says, this has saved taxpayers over $2 billion over the last two years, with fewer prisoners behind bars and fewer prisons. Texas has steadily lowered its incarceration rate by 10% in the last 15 years, recently closing two prisons and held off the construction of two others completely. The judge says the recidivism rate, the percentage of those who recommit crimes within three years after their release, has dropped from 67% in 1994 to 24% today. While he says it's not perfect, it's a sign of hope for many. Good deal. Give her a hand. Ginger Vaughn, CCTV, Dallas, Texas.